The title in German is very particular. In German it's called Der gute Mensch von Sessual. And Mensch in German means simply person. But it means something a little bit stronger than that. It means a good person or a person with a good heart. Certainly Mensch is a word that's been taken into American, New York, Yiddish, English to mean a good-hearted person. He's a man, she's a man. Uh, so he's someone you can really rely on, somebody who will always act in the best interests of everybody, not just themselves. And there's that in the title, and there isn't an English word that exactly conveys it. The first translations of the play um, call it The Good Woman of Setsuan, which is just wrong. That's not what it says in the German. Um, then it, for a long time it was called The Good Person of Setsuan which is close, but person is a very uh, neutral word. And the German has a little bit more colour in it. So um, for this production, we're trying the good soul. The good soul, she's got a good soul, he's got a good soul. Um, to try and get a little bit more of the resonance of the original title. In five years' time, uh, somebody will have to have another idea. But that will have to do for us for the moment. I often think of translations of plays as being like fakes. It's like somebody trying to create an impression of an original work. But the thing about fakes is that they date very, very quickly. And the same is true of translations. You get those um, copies of Van Gogh's or Vermeer or whoever that people did in the 1930s. And at the time, people completely believed them. And you look at them now and you think, well, that's obviously not a real Vermeer or Van Gogh, and I think it's a bit like that with translations. Because theatre has to work now, it has to work in the moment. Every time you do a play that was written some years ago, a large part of the work is to find, of the work of producing the play, is to find a way of making the play feel as immediate as it was when it was first written. And translations done ten years ago, even five years ago, when you look at them now, they are not an original piece of work, and I've done a number of translations myself, and I know how painful it is looking back at what you did, when it felt like you were writing something absolutely immediate, and the slang has changed, the word using words has changed, um, our English is a little bit more American now than it used to be, and you want a translation to kind of disappear, you don't want to attract an audience's attention to the fact that it's a translation. So every few years, every five years, every ten years, you have to find a new form of expression of a really, really good, powerful play to make it feel like you're watching something which is entirely authentic and original.